Hey everyone, thanks for joining. I'm here with Jonathan Baker, who is a program manager for the Field Service Mobile Solution. And today he wants to talk about how they are going to start using Power Automate flows in replace of workflows for processes that are related to Field Service Mobile. So hey, Jonathan, thanks for joining. And can you please show us how we can implement this new feature? Hi, thank you. Um, so it is, uh, is releasing with NEA this August. Um, and so we'll be able to allow people to switch from workflow to flow fairly easily. Um, there's a number of different reasons to use Power Automate, including things like uh, additional branching logic and looping, um, lots of lots of different connectors, and they're being added all the time, so you can take advantage of, of uh, different services, um, both internal and external. Scheduled runs, better analytics over workflow, so you can see the number of runs, how long each run has taken, uh, better designer interface, uh, significantly better designer interface with Power Automate versus Workflow, and things like approval flow, so you can unlock new scenarios, um, like a tech, a technician uh, asks for time off requests, you can get an email right to your inbox. So lots of lots of cool things going on with Power Automate. In this scenario, though, we're really focused on a couple different flows that we're going to ship out of box for the related to the field service mobile application. And so the three areas here are uh, geofencing. And so this is enabling geofence events to be populated in the mobile audit log with, uh, within CRM. Uh, location tracking. So it, we can send alerts based on um, your geofence events and where you are in relationship to the customer. Send alerts to say, hey, you're entering or exiting that geofence boundary. And then related to that, we can send push notifications to the device to remind the user to you know, set their status of, of traveling or arrived, things like that. Um, as well as the common, most common use really is uh, push notifications for uh, when you have a new booking. So commonly that's that's enabled for field service mobile. You get a new booking, you get a notification on your device notifying you that booking. You can click through the post push notifications to see that new work order that's been assigned to you. Okay, so I'm going to walk through a few steps. Uh, we ship, we'll ship this out of box. Uh, the flag that you set to uh, switch between workflow and flow is this use enhanced background processing. By default, it will be no. You can you can easily just switch it to yes and save, and that would switch from workflow to Power Automate flow. Okay, so if you wanted to take advantage of Power Automate flow, it's fairly fairly straightforward, but there are a couple configuration steps. Uh, one is to switch this. That would switch all the, the workflow processes into Power Automate, but then you'd have to go into Power Automate and enable a couple of flows. Uh, we do not ship them on out of the box, so you just have to go in and turn them on. It's fairly straightforward. So we can just show you that. So in Power Automate, Power Automate, you can go down to Solutions, and then um, I apologize, I have a, a large number of solutions here, but you'd probably not see this many shipped out of box. There are three specific ones we would be targeting here. One is called geofencing for field service mobile. And so we can click into that one. Um, within that, there are three different flows. And they are all related to the events in the mobile audit log. So by default, we ship them as off. You would see the, the three flows, they're all currently off. If you wanted to, to and they're all, they all have different purposes within, the, within uh, deleting, generating, and updating. And so to enable them, all you need to do is click through into them and simply turn them on. There. And that flow is ready to go. Um, this flow has run a couple times I had, had it on in the past. Uh, this is kind of where you see the analytics for the flow. So a couple weeks ago, it took a second to run and it succeeded. So you can uh, enhance troubleshooting and things like that within, within flow. So you'd, here, let me just control tab back. So you do that for all three of them. And then you you can move on to the next solution, uh, which is geofencing alerts, uh, right there, simple enough. And then within this, there are four different flows actually. And so a reminder to change, these are the, the two push notifications related to geofencing and then um, updating resource location audit log and then, and then um, setting this status on a booking. This is a flow that interacts with the other to tell which flow to run if you're entering or exiting. Um, and again, you'd have to go in here and turn those three on, or those four on, I mean. And then the last one, uh, field service mobile push notifications, which is, you would not only have two, but I do. 
um, which is just one notification or just one flow and it is not notify user about booking. And so we'll click into that and take a deeper look here. Um, and here, this, as I mentioned earlier, this is the, the common flow that most everyone would probably want to enable initially. And it's just, you know, you get a booking, you get to get the notification on your app. Um, from here, again, you would have to turn it on. We can also check out the flow itself and what's happening behind the scenes. This is a managed flow. And so um, as long as you do not, you cannot edit this flow directly, but you can make a clone of this. Once you have a clone, the one thing to know is you, could, you do not get updates. So if we make updates behind the scenes, this managed flow would always get those updates. But once you make a clone of it, it is your flow and you're responsible for any improvements or you could add things to it or do it or do whatever you would like with it. That's important for things like if you want to change the, the, the message, you would need to clone this message and, and, and change it. This is a message we've had in workflow for a long time, and it's the same message we've used in flow. Um, so I can show you really quick just how to clone it. Fairly straightforward. You just save this as your own one, own flow. And then from there, you can see your new flow it is currently off. And you can go in there, perform outbound action. And then you can see the, the new um, action for send notification. And you can send change this text to whatever you want. Um, and you can save that. You would want to want to uh, turn off the out of the box solution if you wanted to make create your own so that you're not getting two notifications. Um, but from there, you can do whatever you want. And I think that another powerful thing to call out is this action is available for whatever flows you would like. Um, so you can, there's probably some new scenarios that we could unlock this, unlock with this, this push notification action that, that you could use for your app and for your customers. Uh, and so that's, that's mostly it.